Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see how to use the data stable section. In data stable section, we have the data manager, merge manager, and the hierarchy manager. Out of these three subsection, we will see data manager and the merge manager in today's session. Data steward is one of the section in the Informatica MDM hub, uh, which is used by the data business data steward. Business data steward have the better knowledge on the business data. So it is very uh, uh, so data steward plays a vital role in the MDM development as well as its continuity. So let's start to uh, with uh, the configuration details for this data steward section. So in order to see what we need to configure, basic recommend is we have to configure the all the match and mouse setting because we have to run the match before going into the data store so we can configure the match a path match column match result etc then we have to run the jobs like the stage job load job match job etc so we will quickly run all the jobs one day record that is fine I'm running the client stage job. Let's run the load job. The first, like the parent, first you have to load. Otherwise, the client tab, uh, child table will get failed with the lookup issues. Then the run the other job. And here we go. We can quickly check the all those landing table uh, uh, bio tables. Yes, address is populated and the client has been populated. So let's run the match job. So we have the man auto match job, or we can run the annual match job. So first run the child. So we can choose the result set we don't have because we are not defined any match rule for the child so we have only the parent match rules go to the child and initial data load execute so the match job is going on and it's completed so we have Total record match is 45, record token is 22, which are new records queued for the manual merge 45. So let's check the match table for the client. So we can see there are 45 record are matched. So in order to show those record into the ma data manager, we have to create package so just click and we can see we need the base object we need the put package uh, we need the display package if required and the query what do you want to any custom query and the page size like number of records per page so let's create put and display package for the client so let's go and instead of using existing I will create new I will mention this as a okay. So for that we need to create query. Okay, I will create query group like data stable group. Once you create a group, you can add the query inside that first query is put query I'll mention put client with data I will the data steward data steward query put client data steward query data yes I will mention for the side and the primary column uh, you can use it this one and just click next you can choose the number of columns that's it it will create put query okay so it's not actually put okay 
your query okay so we will use the same query and it's it's kind of okay we will create one more query as well for the better set we can display query client it is toward qr y so that we can modify as per wish in future client next and finish so that i can show you one thing when you create the put package so in the both display and put i have used the same all the columns here i will create a new package the package first will create the put package so enable put we will make enable the name of package is put client and data store this is the same physical name and go to the data store i will use put query and finish and the same line we can go and we can create a display package of oh, this with client and data store this time we will not select the enable put so if you see for the put and display the data server we can select all the columns it doesn't matter whether those are the systems column or business column on the same line like you can select uh, the column like the create date up, update date consolidation indicator even the raw id object also you can select for the put if you select display there is no restriction but thing is that even if you select for the put package like the raw ID object and other supporting column those we can't update from the save but for the data store operation we can use that so data manager go to the we will select the base object and accordingly the packages will be enabled so display package if you want to use you can use here for now it's not visible now the query if you want to use any special query you can use the query here for the size i will mention the 10 records begin administrator next you can add some parameter i will show you in the in the next few minutes just timing i'm doing the finish so you can see the record which are matched for example i can show you the row id So we have row ID 1 and the cross reference. It is showing the cross reference. Okay. So this means this record do not have any match. Let's see for the next record. So these are the records which, uh, which are present in the system. Okay, out of this record we do not have any match we can see the few more records okay so what does it mean for each record we can see it's a cross reference so this is the main record and this is the cross reference you can see the sections like the instances for the bo client using this package this is the cross reference section and the actual cell data you can see the cell data so for example for this record what is the value for this record what is the cross reference value if you have the multiple cross reference update then you can see the multiple cross reference even for the particular column like if you want to change the value for this column you can go and change why this is enabled because we have used the put put package if you use the display package you are not able to see so let's try out that i will just uh, go here and i can't see here but let's do this okay for now it's not visible mm, let me try this 
we can see only the put only so it's a kind of more uh, uh, we need to change the permission then it will be visible so you might got idea so if you use the display package here we can't able to see so i will get few more 40 like the 40 records next add parameter so if you see you can use any of the column like class after date first name or ssn if you want to see the people's particular for this ssn i can go and take some ssn values and we can see that quickly so i will take this i think ssns are quite similar okay we are 91 80 okay i will take this 91 here you can use exact like begin with ends with and so many conditions and just go finish so if you see all the record with 91 as a ssn you can see here so this is the way uh, with the using which you can see the record with its uh, cross reference or records and when that record updated by whom it is updated you can see even data store have the privilege to update a record appropriately if he wants so these are the editable fields for it the next thing is merge manager merge manager if you know the merge manager is used by the data store to merge the record manually so what is required so what are the package we have created that those are enough for that so we will use the client as a base object table number of record ready to merge so so for now uh, it is zero but we will see as per as we go ahead then the merge package if you have any created any merge we can use this for now display if you want to dis use any display package like let's see if you have any okay so we don't have any so clear assign i will clear the order the assigned record number of records assign 50 we are assigning so those will be available for the data server queries you can use any of this query if you want page size you can define the page size so if you see if i remove that clear the match record i got the 10 count means there are 10 records which are in the queue so let's start as begin the merge so in this section you can see on merge record on hold record for that particular record what are the matching records means for this if we can see the row id column here the row id column is one for that row id column so there are so many record got match so this is what i intentionally did i created so many records so to get match so these are the row id object which got meshed with the row id one and you can see the actual record if you select that particular record you can see that change here that record get changed for the more visibility i can make this down so if you see here so the row id is 21 now if you select 18 it got changed so you can see the difference so this is this is the merge section so now if data store want to merge he can just select this and merge the record he can unmerge also using this so display relationship dialog so these are the extra facility provided in the merge section for the better analysis so this record um, like accept or rec unmerge record is unique means for example this record is has to be accepted as a um means it's a unique record then data store can accept if I accept all record without match in the assignment first so it will accept all the record which are present in the this merge queue then we have the next accept all record without match so this will accept without match so so these are the functionality which is comes with the merge manager uh, so this is very simple you can just go and see the these packages and just run again so I think uh, this is pretty much about the data steward operations and it is related to really it is relevant if you are acting as a data steward it is um, very vital 
uh, a function in the informatic MDM and it has to be implemented by taking in consideration with the business use needs. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions about this section, you can mention in the video below.